from Spain, we've moved to Germany and it's capital Berlin. Next week, we're in France before two nights of a grand finale in London. It's the Berlin Velodrome. We are in the bouncing German capital for a very big night. This is a place that's alive with energy. Tonight, we find ourselves underground here in this wondrous structure. Almost seems otherworldly from outside. Inside, it's a fast track and there's quite the atmosphere. A reminder that it's a short stretch race. Just five kilometers here, 20 laps. And as always in the scratch, this is the closest thing that we have to a race on the road. I'm afraid there's a little bit of disappointing news to bring you tonight because there is no Sebastian Mora who is out with an injury. It is a big move and this time it's come from Max Schmidbauer of Austria. And he has some company. That's Dylan Bibic. And this is important because Bibic is in second place in the Champions League. There's the hesitation behind. Hashimoto, the leader, must be worried about this. Yeah, so work to do for the rest of the field, particularly Hashimoto as the overall leader. But this is a dangerous move. Dylan Bibic, as you mentioned, second overall in the league, previous scratch race world champion. We know he's very fast in a sprint, but to get away, that is ensuring that there's going to be nobody challenging him in that sprint situation. They've got about a third of a lap at the moment. We're lucky enough to be in the Velodrome so we can see all the way around the track here. We're just seeing now Bibic has mm. left his companion there and he is pushing on. He's got about half a lap on the rest of the field here. Wow. Dylan Bibic then with 500 metres to go if he holds on here. One final effort to get across. They're resigned to the fact that it's going to be one of these two ahead that wins the race. Schmidbar doesn't look like he's able to fight for the victory. It looks like it's a foregone conclusion, this. The bell rings. Bibic, who took the elimination last week, is going to ride away to victory and is now a serious contender in this year's Champions League. He can sort of sit up here. Schmidbar is going to follow on behind. All the excitement is going to be whether they can reach Schmidbar for second place. It's celebration for Bibic who takes the win. Second goes to Schmidbar. And in third place there, that is Tobias Johansson of Denmark, who takes those points in the red. All the glory, all the delight, every one of the 20 points going to Dylan Bibic, who now moves to the top of the league. Out there, trying their best to add to their points, Talia Sarah from Dam of Canada. Out there with her is one of the riders from the Netherlands. Looks to be Maika Brandvacht. They've got about a third of the track. Now Archibald starts to get involved halfway through, and when she comes to the front, you know something will happen, and just that murmur in the crowd changes as well. Yeah, this is the Katie Archibald move. Danny Kahn there, also from Great Britain, was very wise to that. Straight on Archibald's wheel as she made that move. Archibald has swung up, and so has everybody else. Everybody's waiting for Katie to be the one to do the work and do the chasing here. Difficult for her when she knows that everybody's watching her now, Lily Williams. Third wheel. Looks to be making her way across the gap with relative ease, actually. And it's a three rider strong group at the front and there's that bit more firepower with Lilliams there. However, it's not quite organized because Brandsfax looks to be the weaker of the three riders and she just can't hang on. There's that little bit of hesitation that gives another life to those who are out in front. From Dan, from Canada, her neighbor from the United States, Williams. Behind we have a thought about a chase. Then there's a chase, but nothing organized. Palasite is involved in the yellow as well. Bronfacht in the middle has been lapped and she's gonna finish in last place, it seems, in this race already. Williams now at the front and making a concerted effort to try and go off and chase 20 points. Behind it's Stenberg who leads the chase with Gillespie in there. Half a lap to go for the leaders, but they're starting to catch behind as the leaders start to tire. This could be a really close one as Williams comes back into the home straight. And Willie Williams is out there to take victory. She's going to take the lead very briefly, at least, in the Champions League. Second place going to Van Damme. Stenberg was in there. Gillespie was up there as well. Wow. Another big, big moment in the fight for the Champions League lead. And it's Lily Williams who turns up with her best form and takes victory in the scratch race.
And what a five riders we've got here. <laughs> Hashimoto on the front there in his leader skin suit. We've got Dylan Bibic still in there. Buckley there as well. Buckley oh. riding really well, actually. Another former sprinter. Again, should have the speed. It's just the positioning, remember. Buckley, though, moving. Oh, has he moved quick enough? We're talking up his speed. Has he moved quick enough? Bibic was at the bottom, and it's Bibic who's gone. So Bibic the winner earlier on, and that's good news for Hashimoto. Mm. Bibic, though, in contention for the Champions League. He's had a very good night tonight. So the bell hasn't even rung for the next elimination. Only now does it ring. Hester's attacks, and you've got the other two riders watching each other. Hashimoto suddenly has it all to do. And Tidball is the rider who's trying to take him on now. But Hashimoto's coming from behind. Hesters is out there, and if he carries this on, he might well win the race. Hesters is through. Hashimoto's coming around. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Eya Hashimoto will fight for every single point. But is there anything left to win the race? I'm not sure, because Hesters has taken this on. He'll take the bell. He'll ride away. Hashimoto won't even contest it. He'll take the second place. He's done what he's had to do, and that is... The illustration, tactical racing right there. This is what the Champions League's all about. But tonight, it's all about a first win in this competition for young Jules Hesters of Belgium. So many strands. Where do you start with that one, Joe? Well, such a bold move there by Hesters going on the attack. We don't see that very often in, elim elim in elimination races. We do sometimes. There's no rules against attacking, but normally it is that big bunch vying for position. But, but he took that on when they were down to just three riders left. Hashimoto sprinting it out with Will Tibble there, making sure he got second place, not third. You know, th those couple of points, very valuable. And I believe Hashimoto will still be in that blue leader jersey, which we're just seeing him in here. So fantastic racing from this man who was was very confident before the season that he was going to keep that jersey and carry on as this series leader. So delight for him staying in that leader's jersey with a second place in that elimination race. Gone goes every other lap now. We will see the bell ring and an elimination take place. Billy Williams, of course, who on the points is in the lead by eight points at the moment. Keep your eye at the back, though, because Williams isn't far from the back here. Oh, and that might be her gone. That is a turn up for the book. So it opens the door for Katie Archibald to reclaim the lead tonight. Katie Archibald is right back in the fight at the top of the table. Job done tonight, but she'll now want to win. Bell rings here, calls Lister is there in the light blue jersey with the red sleeves. Stenberg, as Joe was saying, was right there last week towards the grand finale, and Archibald now puts on the pace to make sure she vives the final round. But it's going to be difficult to do so because Stenberg is trying to come around. Coles Lister, it's a three-rider sprint. It's won by Archibald. Coles Lister second. Stenberg is eliminated, and we're down to the Canadian and the Briton with Coles Lister and Archibald. One and a half laps now from the grand finale. Yep, this is it. Final bell this time to see who's going to take the win in this elimination race. Katie Hart's on the front at the moment, and that's, that's it. it. Race is done. Resistance is over. The elastic has snapped. Katie Archibald with a victory lap as she's applauded home in Berlin. She lost the lead. She was trailing by eight points, but in sensational style, storms right back to the top of the table. And Katie Archibald, it's where she was after round one, at the top of the Champions League. And this is her lead. It's a six-point lead ahead of Lou Williams. It's a very, very tight league, though. Maggie Calls Lister is in there as well, at just nine points from the lead. It is a fantastically close lead. Plenty to happen going into the final three rounds. Yeah, Hashimoto has kept the lead. It's 59 points, plays 56. A bit of a gap to the next rider. Will Tibball, who's been trying to be consistent, he's very good in the eliminations, hasn't gone great in the scratch so far. And it's a real mix of results behind the top two and three there. Last year's defending champion, Claudio Imhoff, down in 11th. 